AMD Radeon Pro W7600 to feature the same core count as RX 7600. AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE officially launches with 520 cores and 16 gigs of VRAM. NVIDIA RTX 4090 is reportedly no longer to be planned for release. The next gen flagship ADA next to feature 512 bit of memory bus. This is Tech Track. All right, so first that we have a Geekbench score here, and that is you can see is the open seal score of seventy four thousand eight hundred thirty nine, basically. And we're looking at the CPUs, basically Intel Core i nine twelve nine hundred K. That's not the important part here, because if you look into the open seal information, we're looking at advanced micro devices from AMD, of course. And if you look into the board name, we're looking at the AMD Radeon Pro W seven six hundred. And exactly that is, uh, you can see the compute unit is 16. So when you translate that, you basically are getting, according to video cards here, as you can see the core count, we are looking at 2048 SP. And basically it's the same core count as the RX 7600. So basically it's not the same die, I wouldn't think that is the case. Well, it's Navi 33 die, but it has the same core count. Well, basically the same specs. There could be some changes. And of course the memory type, we're also looking at 8 gigs G6 of E. CC memory so that's really interesting the memory bus also looks the same 128 bits and of course the fp32 compute we're looking at 15 teraflops so it's gonna be interesting to see how well this is gonna be uh, performing well obviously this is for the productivity and workstation so radian pro w76600 for the entry level workstation pcs is gonna be good enough i believe but let's see if it goes well because you know 8 gigs i don't think that's gonna cut it well because you know 8 gigs for productivity mm, i don't know it might work it may not but we'll see next up we have a wccf tech article here and basically as you can tell it's an amd radeon rx 7900 gre gpu has been launched already Worldwide, of course, this is a global launch, not a Chinese launch, although this was launched first at China and then, of course, a global launch. But anyway, it's coming with the 16 gigs of VRAM, as you can tell. It's a cut down die of the Navi 31, which is nothing surprising because the name RX 7900 tells you that it is a cut down variant. It is uh, performing worse than the 7900 XT, which is kind of expected because the name is GRE. And if you look according to the pricing here, it's 649 kind of tells you that it's going to be performing a bit worse compared to the RX 7900 XT. So it's fair. So if you look into the spec leak here or the specs we're looking at for the RX 7900 GRE, it's getting the compute units and RAID accelerators of 80 as you can tell, it's a second gen RT cores, obviously. The AI accelerators, we're looking at 160, so it comes with the AI accelerators, obviously. And a stream processor, we're looking at 5120, that I've already mentioned. The game clock, we're looking at 1880, so not bad. Boost clock, we're looking at 2245. And the G6 of 16 gigs of memory. The memory speed is 18 Gbps, so better than the 6800 XT, as you can tell. The memory bus is the same as the 6800 XT 256 bit. AMD Infinite Cache is lower, 64, so I'm kind of like thinking maybe it's going to be saving, uh, sa performing just like the RX 6800 XT because, you know, it's a 64 megabytes compared to 128, but it's second gen, so it kind of boosts a little bit. And of course, it's more efficient because as you can tell, it's 260 watts. It also supports DisplayPort 2.1 and AV1 encoding is enabled there, so that's important. And to the availability, well, it's July 28th. The, the day I'm uploading this video is going to be released already. So July 28th, 2023 will be the release time. And of course, the pricing is 649 so interesting. And that's the die shot we're looking at here. Again, nothing to discuss. It's an MCM GPU, exactly, so right there we did get some benchmarks here for the game but i can't really tell because it's chinese so it's hard to even tell which game is which but if you look into the translation here thanks to wccf tech here in call of duty we're getting around 136 fps of course the modern warfare 2 in dead island 2 we're getting 154 fps in company of heroes 3 we're getting 184 in cyberpunk is 94 not bad cyberpunk is a really you know demanding game in the star wars jedi survivor we're getting 81 forspoken 72 dead space 76 russian evil 107 callisto protocol 65 and returnal getting 72 all of these games are tested on 1440p max settings there so not bad well obviously it won't perform that bad because it's a cut down variant of the 
Navi 31. Now, do we do have a comparison here, as you can tell, is the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT and the AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE. And on average, it's 13 percent faster on 1440p max settings so not bad obviously and call of duty modern warfare 2 we're looking at 26 percent boost so pretty impressive i must say the only title that it loses in tom's Clancy's rainbow six siege but on the other uh, titles it's getting good enough performance there so for the price of 649 is it a good value or is it like meh i would say it's good enough i wouldn't say it's amazing but it's good enough because you know you're get paying 649 almost say similar to the 6800 xt pricing well not just similar is exactly the same msrp basically so yeah it's the same perf i mean the same pricing the same msrp well you can get the 6800 xt for cheaper but it's performing better like uh, on average 13 percent for the same price and i mean it's, as i said it's not amazing it's good enough i wouldn't consider upgrading from 6800 xt to the 7900 gre because i don't think that's worth it but if you're a new buyer maybe that is a good buy next up we have an information and i, I don't know how would you put that if it's a good information or a bad information but uh well he's saying basically copite 7 kimi uh He's saying that I'm afraid there won't be any RTX 4090 anymore. Some low grade 8103 and 8106 chips will be another versions of RTX 4070 and 4060. So, uh, basically, according to him, there won't be any RTX 4090 Ti. Nvidia decided to cancel that, which I am not surprised because it was unstable from the get go. And obviously, there has been some problems with the thermals and the amount of what it consumes so obviously there is no chance this gpu would even release so rtx 4090 ti has been cancelled there will be no more rtx 4090 releases we did get to see the cooler it was massive if you remember correctly it's it was huge so obviously uh i don't think that's practical in any way so uh rip rtx 4090 ti but hopefully we will get something from the rtx 5 5090 not 5090 what am i talking about yeah but 5090 ti we'll see about that because next up we have the same guy copite 7 kimmy just uh, confirmed this that the combined with multiple sources he's saying that i can confirm or he can confirm that the gaming flagship of ada next will have a 512 bit memory bus so yeah it's a full flat 512 bit of memory interface so that's gonna be nice because you know nvidia crippled the rtx 40s 60 ti with 128 bit for god knows why but yeah in this in this case for the ada next or Presumably the 5090 or 5090 Ti or Titan 5090. I, I'm losing my mind there. But anyway, uh, it, a 512 bit memory interface will be coming with the Ada Next flagship, which is good news, honestly, because they won't be crippling the flagship at least. But then again, it's going to be good because just looking at the 4090, you know, the 4090 Ti, I mean, if, if you look into the pricing, yeah, it's very expensive, but you did get the performance from it. It's probably the best GPU ever existed in the whole GPU market, right? The RTX 4090. And if 5090 can double that, the performance, oh boy, I'm sold. Hopefully the pricing won't change. But knowing NVIDIA, they will increase the pricing. We all know it. But 5090 Ti or 5090 should be good. 